Hello, I'm Michelle Heldag, the Nourishment Consultant. Chronic liver disease affects around 25% of the population. That is more than 6 million Australians at an annual cost of a staggering $50 billion. That is greater than the combined cost of diabetes 2 and kidney disease. 20 lives are lost every day to chronic liver disease. NAFLD is the most prevalent form of liver disease with one in three adults affected. So, what is NAFLD? It stands for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It is the presence of hepatic, which is liver fat, in people who do not consume excessive alcohol. What are the symptoms? Well, usually it's asymptomatic. There are no symptoms. Most people will report something like a generalised fatigue, some kind of tiredness that they can't quite put their hands on to, uh, perhaps some weight gain that won't shift, and sometimes some pain in the upper right abdomen area. So how's it diagnosed? Well, it's first identified when blood tests return with slightly elevated liver enzymes. Then all other possible uh, causes and uh, liver diseases are ruled out. The diagnosis is confirmed when imaging occurs and it picks up the fatty liver infiltration or striation in the liver, or less desirably, through a biopsy. So what are the causes? Well, it's a multi-factor condition. There's not one single cause and it's, uh, there, are, well, there are many common risk factors, but certainly not all risk factors are present in every person. Well, for example, NAFLD is found in very thin people as well. But even scarier, it's found in children as young as two. So some of the risk factors that are, are obesity, intestinal permeability, poor gut function and poor gut microbiome, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance, leptin resistance, uh, metabolic syndrome, sleep apnea, polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh, hypothyroidism and hyperpituitism. Um, it's also an antioxidant deficiency, a sedentary lifestyle, stress, oh stress, stress is a big one, environmental toxins, certain medications such as um, tamoxifen, corticosteroids, synthetic estrogens and the likes. So why is stress such a biggie? Well, the reason is the fight or flight response triggers a, a metabolic process in the body. So what happens is you're driving through your day, you're going to work and Mr. Inconsiderate, he'll cut you off in front of you. And most people's reaction is like, oh, you horrible person, how dare you, with a few other swear words inserted in, how dare you trigger it, how dare you um, cut in front of me. And you get all angry and you feel your heart racing and, and you feel like you could get out and you could punch the guy. So what happens then is, or you might get a fright, you know, you might go, oh my gosh, he cut me off, oh, he nearly killed me. So what happens? Your body triggers an adrenaline response. It's the flight or fright response. So you're either ready to run away or you're ready to fight. So what happens is the adrenaline releases in this massive rush and it releases things like massive amounts of fat and massive amounts of sugar preparing you to either fight or flight. What happens is you're sitting in your car, you haven't moved anywhere and you're still driving. So all these extra calories and the fat and the sugar are circulating through your blood now in preparation to help you fight or flight, except you're not. So the, it needs to go somewhere else. So it goes through the bloodstream and hits the liver and stays there, accumulating day after day, year after year. And before you know it, you've got fatty liver striations occurring in the body and it causes fatty liver disease. So what is the solution? There are many different solutions, there are many different things you can do. You can take herbs that gently detox and regenerate the liver, such as milk thistle. Milk thistle is beautiful, it's very nourishing, it's a very gentle herb. It's hepatoprotective, so it protects the liver and the liver cells, and it's anti-inflammatory. And the tincture form is the best form for milk thistle. A very good quality practitioner strength, zinc. Not your supermarket brands or your chemist brands, they're often a synthetic form that's really not suitable for the body and the body doesn't recognise them. Uh, well, zinc is beautiful because it's an anti-inflammatory and it's an antioxidant. Deficiency of zinc is often linked to insulin resistance itself anyway, so supplementing with zinc will prevent that a lot. Zinc is involved in all cell proliferation, so all cell growth, and it maintains the cell membrane integrity. 
pre and probiotics. Very important. You need prebiotics for your probiotics to colonize. So your prebiotics are things like your inulin, your agave inulin, um, your uh, tocotrinols from sun foods, your dandelion leaves, Jerusalem artichoke, all those kinds of things are prebiotics. Very, very good for the stomach. Broccoli sprout powder. Very, very high in nourishing, healing, and nutrigenomic sulfurophane. It is great for turning on the good genes and turning off those bad genes. You want them gone. You also want to be looking at a good quality B complex. Again, speak to your qualified natural health practitioner. Exercise. You can go dancing, walking, skipping, swimming. You can do yoga, rowing machine. You can do all kinds of exercise. Whatever gets you motivated and moving, whatever makes you feel great. Then, on the other side, you want to do meditation. You want to be calm as well. And you want to get those Zen feelings happening. And deep breathing right from the gut so you big <sighs> if you remember before I mentioned things like the sleep apnea and the metabolic syndrome the type 2 diabetes the polycystic ovarian syndrome all those are oxygen starvation syndromes so keep breathing if you have any of those remember daily deep breathing multiple times a day now conventional medicine says that nafl D can't be healed it can't be treated there's nothing that they can do Yet I've seen quite a few people coming through my clinics who have incorporated many of those healing modalities I've just talked about, as well as quite a few others, and they've reversed their nafl D. It's, it's gone back where they've created a healthy liver. But remember, it's a lifestyle. It's not a diet. It's not a short-term thing. It is a long-term commitment to yourself. So, from me to you, I recommend as much exercise, love, laughter, joy, good food, nutrition, get all those happy feelings happening. Thank you for listening. Yours in health and healing. Bye.